In this video, I will show you how to make great fermented spinach food. Your shrimps are going to love this food that will be beneficial for their health and development. If you are interested, please watch this video. Hello, it's shrimp time here and in today's episode about shrimp keeping, we are going to cook this magnificent shrimp food. We will make fermented spinach for shrimps. Thanks to this recipe, shrimps will eat not only spinach, but also beneficial bacteria on the spinach as well. Thanks to this, uh, shrimp food will be easily digestible. It is also easy to storage this food in the way that it won't lose its beneficial properties. So let's start. Here we got about 80 grams of spinach, salt without iodine and pickling jar. We'll try to achieve this effect. It is fully fermented spinach. It will be most beneficial to use the spinach that you grow by yourself. But if you don't have this possibility, you can use ecological spinach. It is also important to use a jar that we can seal. I will also use some sort of a container or a jar to mix our spinach with salt. Let's prepare the spinach. First of all, remove the tails of the leaves. During the fermentation process, it can be hard to fully ferment, so in the tanks with less amount of shrimps, it can stay as a leftover. But if you remove the tail, the spinach will be eaten in whole in our shrimp tank. So now let's start the most boring part of our work. We'll need to remove all the tails from the leaves and put the spinach in the container. During this process, I will tell you why I'm fermenting the spinach instead of drying it or even trying to give a fresh spinach to the shrimps. First, let's talk about the fermentation and why you should want to ferment spinach leaves for your shrimps. Fermentation is a natural process that breaks down the sugars and carbohydrates in food, producing beneficial bioproducts like lactic acid and probiotics. By fermenting spinach leaves, you're creating a nutritious, easy digestible food source for your shrimps. Now that we understand the process, let's explore the nutritional benefits of our fermented spinach leaves for your shrimps. Fermentation helps break down the cell walls of spinach leaves, making the nutrients more accessible for the shrimps. This means they can better absorb essential vitamins and minerals like vitamin A, C, K and B, as well as minerals like iron, calcium and magnesium. Fermented spinach leaves are a natural source of probiotics, which promote a healthy gut and immune system in our shrimps. A well-balanced gut microbiome can help prevent disease and improve overall shrimp health. The fermentation process breaks down complex carbohydrates and proteins in spinach leaves, making them easier for your shrimps to digest. This can lead to better nutrition absorption and overall health. And now when you know all the benefits from spinach that is fermented, let's start and do the spinach. Finally, the recipe. I will use about one tablespoon in total for this little jar that you see in this video. And at the beginning, I will add some of the salts to the dry spinach and try to mix it well in order to let it put some juices out and to make it less moisture. As you can see, my salt is uh, a bit wet, so I will need to crush it a bit, but I can handle this process quite well. And after you will finish this process, you should leave the spinach in this container for about 15 minutes to uh, 30 minutes. And now our little jar. And I know it's amazing that all this spinach will get into the jar. We are trying to put as much of the spinach at it as it is possible into the jar. So after we'll add our water, there will be less possibility that the air will be left 
in the jar. You need to remember that a fermentation is a process that is done without the oxygen and even if we will uh, put all the air out we have the possibility that some of the oxygen will be dissolved in the water and now I'm adding normal water from my aquarium this is quite gross moment of doing this recipe because I'm trying to get rid of most of the air and most of the bubble that is inside the jar. As you can see, this air will gather around the spinach leaves, so, I so I'm trying to push it as hard as it's possible so that I will be left without any air in this jar. And this is as I said to make sure the fermentation will go nicely. You need to remember that to avoid getting any mold in our spinach batch, it is important that no of the leaves will stay above the water level. Guys, I hope you are enjoying the video so far. For many years I've been breeding shrimps. If you would like to see more videos on shrimp topics, and in future maybe on reef tanks, you can consider supporting me here on YouTube or by visiting my online store. All of Gathered Money both in store and here I dedicate to develop my breeding room and upgrade my video gear. Sometimes I even buy a cup of coffee to have more energy for work. Thank you and let's go back to the video. After 14 days in room temperature, the spinach is ready, so let's prepare to use it. One only important thing is to dissolve the additional salt that will be a leftover in the spinach in your normal aquarium water. And this is how I do. I will take some spinach that I want to use and put it into aquarium water. And you can see, you can see now guys how the lovely shrimps are happy during their meal. You can see that all of the shrimps are feeding on the spinach, the leaves are really soft and you can see the tissue that is ripped off those leaves. The, the shrimps got beautiful and easy access to your spinach and at the moment that it goes into the water they will thrive on it, on it and they will be so happy being able to get the beautiful and nice food. I think that this recipe can be very beneficial for your aquarium because shrimps will thrive on this food and they will eat all of it. If you won't overfeed your aquarium and if you won't add too much of the spinach, you are sure that all of it will be eaten by the shrimps and thanks to this breaking down of complex sugars the shrimps will be able to digest those sugars because they are unable of digesting complicated complex sugars and on the other hand they really need those sugars to create their shell and for their molting. I hope that you will try this recipe. If you will, please let me know in comment uh, what do you think about it and was it good and was it beneficial for your shrimps. And now thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this video. And remember, keep on shrimping guys.